Hi all, this is Vijay Lakshmi from Informatica GCS team. I'm here. I'm here to help you on how to configure one-step approval process in IDD of MDM. So the agenda here would be to know what is the default task approval process in IDD and what is one-step approval process. What are all the steps that are required to configure the one-step approval process in IDD? Important points to note when you do this configuration and important documents that would help you to configure this process as a summary. So basically the main feature of IDD that helps users to manage the data at various levels between the various users as a workflow is nothing but the task approval process. So by default we have two step approval process wherein you have two steps of users to be approved like for example you have business user creating or updating a ta data and then he sends the data to the data steward for approval and again data steward will review it and he can either approve or reject it and he can uh, send the data or escalate it to the data manager for approval so here you could see two steps of approval one by the data steward and the other by the data manager so the default task type that would demonstrate the two-step approval process would be the review no approve and the actions available for review no approve are submit for submitting the task for approval rejecting the task escalating the task to the next level or cancelling the task so what is one step approval process as the name says it is just a one step of approval that is involved in the workflow so when you consider an example data steward and data manager so here data steward will just create or edit the ta data and then he sends the data to the data manager for approval so in this case there is only one step of task that is one step of approval that is done and the task type that offers one step approval process is final review and the task actions that are required to be configured to final review would be to approve the task to reject the task reassign the task or cancel the task so let's see a demo of how to configure one step approval process in IDD so the basic requirement would be to enable the state management so let me show you how do you enable the state management so before that let's see the IDD configuration tool and the IDD application that is configured here so basically I have customer subject area group and person subject area under task tab by default as mentioned in the earlier slide you will have review no approval as a default task type how do you identify that it is a default task type this is a property that shows it create task type by default on approval when this is checked this shows that the corresponding task type is a default task type so you have to first uncheck this to make the other task type as default so first step would be to uncheck this property click on ok go to final review edit the task so under final review you may you have to make sure that this property is checked for final review to be created as a default task type again you have to define the actions that are required for the final review to be configured the first action would be to enable the approve action and you have to also define the next step required for the action so here when you approve a task it will be created in the it will be loaded into the BO and then the it will be going into an active state so there are no next steps involved or next task types that needs to be created um, the next action would be to reject the task so when you reject the task I've configured it to update rejected record so what will this happen what will this do so when you reject a task the update rejected record task type would be created and it would be assigned to the data steward so for example if data steward creates a task and sends it to data manager for approval and data manager sees the ch uh, changes and he notes that something needs to be changed so he rejects the task and he sends it back to the data steward in that case update rejected record task type would be created and assigned to the data steward you can also configure this by selecting a different task based on your business requirements and the next action would be to reassign the task so as the name suggests this is just to make the make sure that the user can reassign the task to some other data manager which is in the same level and uh, since it is in the same level same task type would be created 
the next action would be to cancel the task when you cancel the task it just deletes the task from the database so there are no next actions required so this this is the these are all the configurations that needs to be done under the task configuration tab the next prerequisite would be to enable the statement so when you launch the hub console navigate to the bo based on which you have created the subject area you have the advanced properties tab so here you will have enable state management make sure that this property is checked and the metadata is validated so this is one prerequisite the next prerequis prerequisite would be to assign the tasks to the corresponding subject area and the users so when you click on subject area and under task assignment tab you have to make sure that the corresponding tasks are assigned to the corresponding roles or users for example you have to make sure that final review is assigned to the roles or the users corresponding to the data manager and data steward so steward india is the role corresponding to data steward and super user is the role corresponding to data manager so i'm making sure that final review has these roles selected and one more thing update rejected record so as i told you when the data manager rejects the task it would create update rejected record and it would assign this task type to the data steward so you have to make sure that this task type has the corresponding role of data steward or the user data steward assigned here so this is another prerequisite and one more thing to note here is you have to make sure that you have proper sam privileges defined in the hub console so under security access manager roles tab make sure that you have corresponding roles assigned to the users for example i have super user which is assigned to the data manager and you have to make sure that the privileges for the base objects packages and then the subject areas and the default task types and the other task types involved has corresponding read create and update privileges so for the base object you have to make sure that you have read create update and update privileges for the packages also you have to make sure that you have read create read update read execute privileges since it's a super user i have all the privileges for the data manager and again you have to make sure that you have read create and update and execute privileges for the subject area and for the default task type corresponding to the subject area you have to make sure that you have read create and execute privileges so since final review is my default task type make sure that you have read create and execute privileges for the final review so this is corresponding to the data manager when you go to the data steward again here you have to make sure that the base object has the corresponding read create and execute privileges packages have read and execute privileges and subject area has read and execute privileges because here the user is just going to create he is just going to submit the record for approval and uh, it is the responsibility of super user or the data manager to approve the task so it is enough if he has read and execute privileges for the data steward and make sure that the default task type has the corresponding privileges which is final review with read create and execute privileges and here update rejected record also has to be provided the privileges for the data steward because when the data manager rejects the task this task type would be created so make sure it has read create and execute privileges so this is the main point to be noted in the one step approval process so after all this is set make sure that you save the idd application and you redeploy it now i'm launching the idd application so before that let's check the configuration that is there for the subject area so there are four tables that are required to be checked when you configure the idd um, one step approval process first would be c repos task assignment configuration corresponding to the row id subject area so here you will have the task types and the corresponding roles or users that you have configured in the idd configuration so in our example we have the corresponding task types configured to the corresponding row id roles corresponding to the subject area so now let's see a demo of one step approval process so i'm logging in us using user 1 which is a data steward 
and I'm creating a new person applying it and sending it for approval so here you could see this final review to be created as a default task type so I'm editing it here again assign to would be you can either manually assign it or you can use the auto assignment daemon enabled in your cmx server dot properties file to make the auto assignment daemon run and assign the task according to the corresponding user now the task has been created successfully let's check in the database you could see that the task has been created and assigned to the data manager so now let's log in using the data manager user now I'm logging using data manager which is a user 2 and I am searching for my task so this task has been created and assigned to this user opening the task so you can see the task actions available here consider I'm rejecting the task So the task has been rejected now we have to log in using user1 to see if the task has been assigned to the user so here you could see that it has been created with the update rejected record task type so here you have say uh, since the manager data manager has asked me to do some changes a sample change has been done and again I am sending the task for approval now this final review has been created successfully we have to log in using the user 2 to see that the task has been assigned successfully so here you can see that the task has been assigned to the data manager successfully I am opening the task and the changes has been reflected here so the next action would be to approve it so after you approve it so the approve action has been executed so now let's check in the database the task would be completed when you consider the C repos task assignment history table you would see that three tasks have been created how are three tasks created one is the final review task that we created initially from the data server to data manager now the data manager had rejected it so update rejected record had been created now again the data steward had made the changes and sent it again to data manager for approval so final review task had been created so how do you identify all three are related to the same workflow so using the interaction id you would see that all three task types will have the same interaction id and uh, row id task would be different so this is how and you would also see that the task status would be set to closed so this shows that the workflow has been completed successfully one more point to be noted here is when you consider C repos task data this table stores the information about the row id object and the row id xref related to the task so since we have completed the task this would be deleted from the row C repos task data so now let's check the bo for the corresponding row id object so when you consider the bo here you could see the corresponding interaction id and the changes that are made to the bo and the hub state indicator would be set to 1 so before approving it it would be set to 0 so now it is set to 1 when you consider the party xref table again here the hub state indicator will be set to 1 and the interaction id will be updated points to note would be state management to be enabled sam privileges in hub console and idd task type configuration thank you for watching the video kb and um,
you can refer these KBI articles for uh, your future reference to configure one step approval process. Thanks a lot and your feedback is valuable to us. So please leave your feedback on these links. Thank you.